So I received an email recently uh, asking if I'd be interested in reviewing this Oasso K016. It's a retractable pen from China and they sent me two of them uh, in these packages and this package Chinese translates as a retractable pen that has a new sealing technology. So there's a spring load in the nose of the pen and you press on the knock and the, the nib extends but it extends through a little door uh, that seems to be made of silicone rubber. So I've got a little video here of how that works and you can see the nib poking out from that little membrane and then retracting back in again. So I thought I'd do a quick and dirty review of this pen. I've got as I say two of them. I opened one and they're both in black but apparently they come in a number of colors. I've seen them on AliExpress for around 11 or 12 dollars and here is the mechanism so it has a fairly positive kind of an effect the plastic is well i'd say not extremely well made uh, there seams all over the place and a lot of abrasion here but there's a triangular kind of a grip hope you can see that in this lighting how that triangular grip is pushes your fingers into the correct position I would consider this a Chinese student pen. One of the advertisements uh, indicates the proper position of the fingers. And there's also some cute little characters on the box. I don't know what that means. Space Age pen, I guess. Uh, the clip is very, very stiff. There is a sticker on the side that says, don't point your pen at people in Chinese so again more instruction for little ones who are using fountain pens but a retractable pen nonetheless comes out of that little door right there and it's not even a door it's just a silicone flap that supposedly seals that nib so we'll find out how you replace the cartridge is you unscrew the section and it comes with a blank cartridge in the section and for blue cartridges as replacements and these are Chinese standards and I'll put up what the uh, measurement of the mouth of these cartridges are but the empty cartridge can be filled with your own ink so I'm going to do that rather than use up a cartridge get some waterman in here there we go and you can see that that nipple on the end of the nib unit is on a spring so there's a spring inside there I don't think you can get at that without cracking the case but when you put that on there it extends the nib so push it through there and they tell you in the instructions to give it 30 seconds or so as normal and you can see that the knock down there is just a, a metal rod with a plastic cap on it that pushes up against the end of the cartridge. There's no converter available for this and you have to use these kind of cartridges because it pushes up against the cartridge as part of the retracting mechanism. So there it is retracted. It's very light and actually very comfortable in the hand. So once that ink is drained down there, I will do a writing sample. And before we do the writing sample, I thought I'd do a quick size comparison here uh, with the Magon A1. Even though the Oasso K016 uh, seemed like it was longer, uh, they are actually roughly the same size. Of course, the A1 is a lot heavier. Now let's write with it. Only took a couple of minutes for that ink to flow down as normal and this is the OASO K016 retractable and it has an extra fine steel nib It's actually very smooth. I'm very surprised. I'm 
no line variation to speak of of course and the line it makes is a 0 0.44 millimeters which is a Western extra fine or a Japanese fine and it's fairly decently wet not too bad at all I'm very impressed with its writing ability it is very fine but it is what it is so what I can say about this pen is that it's very inexpensively made but it's well made so the materials are fairly cheap it comes right out of the box I haven't used this at all I just inked it up on camera for the first time and you can see there's all kinds of a haze on there and there's abrasions on the section scratches and things like that so that's a fairly soft plastic but again it's 10 bucks so I'm going to give these two pens away so all you have to do to win one of these two pens is add a comment below before Friday August 25th at 8 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time uh, and then I will select a winner I will let you know if you are the winner by replying to your comment in the video and you'll have 24 hours to get back to me by email and my email is inquiringminds at gmail.com with your name and your address so I can send you your OASO student pen. Thank you to the OASO. I think they're called Yongsheng, the Yongsheng Company in China for providing these two pens for review and to give away. And, as always, thank you for watching this shorty. And that's all she wrote. I made this.